I've been using fluorocarbon for me leaders and me hook links for the last couple of years and I'm definitely certain it's caught me a few more fish. At the end of the day, carp are definitely getting a lot wiser and a lot more pressured, so we've got to do everything we can to stay one step ahead of them. And I think fluorocarbon is definitely an edge on that front. This incognito from Christon is absolutely awesome stuff. It's made from 100% premium grade fluorocarbon. Fluorocarbon has a very similar light refraction to uh, water. Therefore, once it is actually in the water, it's very, very difficult to see. Now, the other thing about fluorocarbon is that it's really, really dense. Now, because of that density, it's a lot heavier, and therefore it sinks like a brick. So it's pinned down to the bottom, well out of the way of them wary carp. Another good thing about that density is the fact that it's really, really abrasive resistance, really tough stuff. I mean, if you bite through it, I'm struggling there. <laughs> if you bite through a bit of that compared to a bit of normal mono, you'll see the difference. So obviously it's brilliant for hook links and brilliant for leaders too. Now, I do get a lot of people ask me, how do I tie my combi links with fluorocarbon and how do I tie my leaders on with fluorocarbon? So I'll just run through it quickly. It makes perfect leader material. A, it's really cheap, B, it sinks really well, and C, it's virtually invisible. From your main line onto your leader, I'll use some braid here because it should show they're not easier. All I'm doing is a back-to-back -back four turn grinner. So we'll get the fluorocarbon, make a loop, and then go around both materials four times. And just don't tighten it fully, a bit of moisture, just tighten it down a little bit then tie your main line. So once again, just making a loop and then going around that loop and the fluorocarbon four times. Once again, just give it a bit of moisture and then gradually pull them together. You only want to do that if there's not a lot of resistance there. If there is a lot of resistance there, and sort of gently tease them together, otherwise you'll end up damaging the knot. Once you've done that, pull it down tight. Like so, and as you can see, they just butt up against each other, and you've got a nice, neat leader knot. Obviously, then trim it off. It's really strong, that. Never had any troubles with that back-to-back -back grinner with the fluorocarbon. So that's that one. Next one, hook links. Now, I used to be a coated braid fan, but ever since I started using these combi rigs with uh, fluorocarbon and a small bit of soft braid, I just haven't gone back to uh, coated braid really. You put it on the bottom and it just you can hardly see it, so it makes perfect sense to me. So all you do is get yourself a nice bit of soft braid, tie your hook arrangement how you normally would, then get your mono. Now double your mono up, your fluorocarbon even. So you've got a loop in the end and just pull that like so. Now get your soft braid, thread that through the loop. <laughs> through the loop again. <laughs> Pull the hook up to the end there. Now just pinch with your thumb and finger. Just pinch that there, like so. Holding it in place. Now you get your braid and whip around both sections of the fluorocarbon. Just going up, careful not to cross itself. Keep it nice and neat. Uh, seven or eight times should do it. There you go. And once you've gone up there, now what you've got to do is thread the tag end back through the loop so that it comes out the same side as your hook end, like that. Then again, a bit of moisture, and just tease that knot down gradually to the end of the loop. And once you get to the end, just give it a good pull from all angles. Tighten it up, and there you've got a ridiculously neat and tidy combi rig. You've got a nice section of fluorocarbon, gives a bit of rigidity, stops any tangles, and also helps to push that bait away from the lead. And then you've got that small bit of soft braid, which allows the hook to do its job. Gives it a little bit of movement, helps it flip over, turn, do what it's got to do to get in the fish's mouth. Brilliant little rig, that. Love it. Now, with those combi rigs, you can use any of the different braking strains. Uh, during the warmer months, I tend to stick with the uh, stiffer ones. And in the winter, when I'm finding down a bit, I go on the lighter ones. For leaders, I'd go for the 18. I think they're also doing a 25 pound one, so that could be worth checking out as well, but 18 should be fine for most of what you need. As I say, it's in a range of different braking strains from five to 18 pound. The great thing about this stuff is you get 50 meters on that spool. I know with a lot of fluorocarbons, you get 20 meters. Now 50 meters, just think how many leaders and hook links you're gonna get out of that brilliant value for money.